Hello, it's Lex MPI back with another video. Before we get started, if you could please like and subscribe, it'd be much appreciated. I'm a small channel and every like, comment and subscription really does help. So today we're looking at Aave and how to use Aave on the Polygon network. Um, Aave is the, lar the largest lending platform on Ethereum. As you can see, the total market size is 3.8 billion. I think that is for on the Polygon. I hope that you know what, so let's have a look here. So obviously there's multiple markets for Aave. There's the original one and then there's the V2. So in the original one, there is 57 million. On the V2, there is 12 billion uh, locked up. And then on the Polygon network, there is 3 billion. So um, as you can see there, there's over 50 billion on Aave. So, you know, it's a massive network where you can lend and, and borrow cryptocurrency. It's huge. Um, and, uh, Traditionally, you, you use it on the Ethereum network, which is fine. Um, however, Ethereum fees can be quite expensive. Uh, currently, Ethereum fees are, all, are pretty much all-time lows at the moment. You can check that on etherscan.io. I will link that in the description below. That's where you can check and see how much uh, different transfers are going to take place on average. Uh, so if you're not aware, you, when you're transferring on the Ethereum network, you pay a gas fee and that gas fee is uh, calculated based on the speed at which you want to carry out that transaction and the congestion on the network. So essentially you're bidding to get your transaction verified by the network. And the more you bid, the faster it takes place. But if it's very competitive, the bids are higher and it's more expensive. Uh, currently, the fees on the high end are between, you know, two and four dollars. However, if I go back, what's that? Six months ago, you're paying about 60 to 70 to 80 dollars to transact on the Ethereum network, which is why Polygon came about. And Polygon is faster and infinitely cheaper. Um, so it, it allows you to use Aave to borrow and lend without paying what can sometimes be very expensive and silly fees. So uh, Polygon, what is Polygon? Polygon is an Indian blockchain that came about, let's have a look here, we can, well, it came about, you know, it started around uh, 2020, but it really started picking up pace, as you can see here in February, uh, February, March, and it grew exponentially and it's come down with the rest of the crypto market more recently. It, it was formerly called Matic, it's now called Polygon. Um, Polygon is a blockchain and Matic is still the name of the token on that blockchain, so it wants to get that clear first of all. Um, so it's a layer two scaling solution, which means that transactions that would take place on Ethereum actually happen on Polygon, and then it goes back to Ethereum. I'm not gonna go into the complexities and intricacies of how it actually works. What you need to know is it's faster and it's cheaper. So if you're dealing with, with hundreds of dollars or you know even thousands of dollars of as opposed to millions, it means that the fees don't eat up into a large amount of your transaction costs. So if you're trying to move, say, trying to deposit a hundred dollars into Aave to lend it out to make a return, you would be paying maybe between three and twenty dollars to do that, depending on the price of the gas fees at the time um, on the Ethereum network. But on Polygon, use it on the Polygon blockchain that could be as cheap as a penny or two which makes it a lot easier and, le and a lot less friction to transacting. So let's have a look at Aave and let's look at how exactly we connect to Polygon Matic and how we can actually, you know, carry out these transactions more cheaply, which is the key thing, more cheaply and faster, so more efficiently. So as you can see, you have multiple options. You have the original market, the V2 market, the V2 market's the largest, um, and then there is option for Polygon, Aave Market, Polygon. So we, we click that, excellent. So now I'm on Aave Market, Polygon. Uh, now I have, um, I'm connected to my MetaMask wallet and it's already connected to my MetaMask wallet, but my MetaMask wallet is currently on uh, Polygon, is that, is on, sorry, on Ethereum. So what I want to do is I want to switch that over to, um, I want to switch over my MetaMask to the Matic main net is what I want. I want the Matic main net. And there we go. So one thing to note, the Matic main net is, doesn't come as standard on your MetaMask wallet. You will need to add it in. Right? So what you will do is you will go to custom RPC. 
as you can see here, where you can where, where it will give you the option to fill in all these details. And you're gonna ask me, well, what details do I fill in? Well, I'm here to help. I'll link once again this website in the description below. Um, but and this is this, this article here says config matic on MetaMask. And make sure you're looking at mainnet or testnet. And these are the details you need. So I will post this in the description. And what you will need to do is you need to go to your MetaMask wallet and enter. Uh, where is it? There we go. Enter those details as you can see here into there. Once that's done, you'll have Matic Mainnet. So I'm on Polygon, which is great, on the Matic Mainnet, um, which is perfect. Now, say for example, I wanted to deposit some uh, wrapped Ethereum or Bitcoin onto there. How would I do that? Because all my cryptocurrency is on the Ethereum network, right? I need to convert it over to the Polygon network. And how do I do that? Once again, I have the answers for you. You go to this website here, which is, once again, I will read it out. I will link this in the description below. So you're going to Polygon or, and you go to MetaMask and my MetaMask comes up. I will sign that. And I am, I am logged in. So now, now I'm on the, on the Polygon on the Polygon Bridge V2. So this bridge essentially allows you to get your cryptocurrency off of the Ethereum network and onto the Matic Polygon network. So that, that you can actually use Aave on the Polygon network. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to go from the Ethereum network to the Polygon network. Um, and you need to click the cryptocurrency that you want to swap over to the uh, Polygon network. So I actually, I'm actually going to use um, uh, the wrapped BTC. So I have some wrapped BTC and I want to move that over to um, the Polygon network. So um, we're going to transfer it over the POS bridge and we can make the transfer. So uh, as you said, it takes about seven to eight minutes, um, which is, isn't too bad uh, for the transfer to take place. So we'll go to continue. And as you can see here, um, these are the fees. So we're paying Ethereum fees now. So we're currently, because we're on the Ethereum network, we have to pay Ethereum fees. Um, so, but then once onto the Polygon network, then it will, it will be Polygon fees. And I'll show you that they're a lot cheaper. So this isn't actually too bad, uh, you know, 70 cents, uh, the three cents, three dollars in total, 73 cents and two dollars 30. Um, as I said, but in the peak of the market, about you know, four or five months ago, this would have been maybe 60, 70 dollars, so not too bad at the moment. So, um, as you can see here, Ethereum network to Polygon network, uh, zero point, pretty much 0 0.02 wrapped BTC, uh, around just under 700 dollars worth. Um, And yeah, let's go. So continue, Ethereum to Polygon. Uh, so what I need to do, I need to select the Ethereum network, my MetaMask, so uh, I'm still currently on the Polygon network, so I need to switch my wallet over to Ethereum. So let's go Ethereum mainnet. There we go. So let's press continue. And there we go, that's the, there's a, $1 transaction fee, let's pay that, let's keep it moving, here we go. So, the transaction has begun. So what I won't do is I won't bore you with having to watch that, so I will pause the vid and we'll be back and it will have progressed to a significant point. So back with you shortly, Lex MPI. So here I am back and the next marker or progress point I've made is to confirm the deposit. So I pay a transaction fee of $2.32, which is what we saw earlier. So I will continue, I'll press continue and confirm that. I need to approve that in my wallet. So let's confirm that. Excellent. So once again, the transaction is gone into the next stage. Once again, I won't bore you. So I'll pause the video and I'll be back once that has completed. 
So I get a little lovely peace sign <clears throat> saying that a transfer is en route um, and saying that <clears throat> it will take about seven to eight minutes for the deposit to get completed onto the Polygon Matic network. So um, let's, let's take a look, see if it's there. Uh, if not, we, I'll kind of give it a little pause and come back. So um, let me jump into my wallet. And switch over to the Matic network and have a look at the asset. So, and you're at BTC here. No. Um, we could check on here, couldn't we? Yep. So, nothing there yet. So, um, I'll get back to you guys shortly once the wrapped BTC has arrived, and we'll take it from there. So, here we have it. The wrap BTC is now in Polygon, so as you can see, Polygon right here, available balance 0 0.020 WBTC. So um, it's arrived on the Polygon network, so we're happy with that. So that is all good. Uh, one thing I should have told you is that there's this little notification bar here that tells you uh, when things have happened as a success or not. So you haven't got to go, go randomly check. You can just have a look here and it will kind of tell you and give you an update with some notifications there. Uh, with a little notification button. So, perfect. We now have my 0 0.02 RAT BTC on the uh, Polygonmatic network. So, what happens next is we go back to Ave. So, let me head back over to Ave. I am on the Ave Polygon market, and my MetaMask is connected to the Polygon market here. So, um, RAT BTC, here it is. So now I can use Aave on the Matic network. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just have maybe take a look at the um, BTC network and I can deposit some uh, wrap BTC. So I'll go, I'll go to deposit. No, deposit the max amount. And then I will continue. And then it will say I uh, on the collateral as usage. Yes, I want to be able to use that as collateral against um uh borrowing another cryptocurrency so i'll approve that which is perfect so uh i'll go to approve and, and as you can see here the transaction cost is 0 0.001 matic so what we need to do we want to understand how much that actually is so let's quickly go back to uh let's go back to the coin market cap and let's just type in um, Polygon, because Polygon Matic, there we go. So one Matic token is $1, right? And we just said, it just told us it's 0 0.01 is the transaction fee. So if it's $1 uh, for, and it's a 0 0.0, is it 0 0 0.01 or 0 0.01? Just let me double check. Um, where is it? It said it's uh, sorry. Where, where was it? Sorry, uh, is it said zero point zero zero one? Fine. So zero point zero zero one. That is one tenth of a cent. The transactions on on uh, the Matic network are one tenth of a cent when they are about two to three dollars on the Ethereum network. So I think that's two thousand times more expensive. Um, so that just gives you an idea of how much cheaper it is to, to, to uh, transact on the Matic network in comparison to the Ethereum network. Uh, one two thousandth, um, one two thousandth is the amount. So um, what I will do is I will just confirm that um, and that transaction is pending. Uh, and the other beautiful thing about the Matic network is that it, it's faster. This should This should take place a lot quicker than the transaction was taking place on the um, uh, on the Ethereum network. So that's that, that was confirmed, which is perfect, right? Um, and then um, I will then deposit that. So that will be another transaction that will take place. And once again, it's 0 0.001, uh, which is basically uh, one tenth of a cent again. Um, so now it's uh, as pending. So I'll let that pen. So one thing to note is that all the fees aren't in Ethereum, they're actually in the, um, in Matic, in the Matic token. So 
Um, to get Matic into your account, what you would need to do is transfer some Matic tokens into your Ethereum wallet and then do exactly what you saw me do. So what you do, you'd go here, you'd click on, you'd find Matic in your, um, is that there a coin called Penis? Anyway, um, what you would do is you'd find Matic here. So you'd find Matic. Um, I haven't got any Matic in my Ethereum wallet at the moment because I transferred it all over to the um, Polygon. Essentially, you would just do that same transfer over as you saw me do my BTC. So that's how you would start. You'd, try, you'd have to get Matic into your Polygon wallet to begin with and all your fees are therefore in Matic after that. Um, but let's go back to... Oh, but yep, yeah, so um, there we go. Um, I did my browser wallet. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, uh, token, cool. Excellent. So AMWBTC, that is going to be the... Um, uh, whenever you deposit an asset to a cryptocurrency website, to a decentralized finance website, you will get uh, a token in return that proves that you deposited that. So my AM, so my Aave Market WBTC, will go into my wallet and that proves that I am due back um, that 0 0.1997 wrapped BTC. So now that I've deposited that as collateral, I can now borrow. So, you know, I'm able to, I see, able, based on your collateral, able to borrow. So I can borrow some Matic, I can borrow some DAI, I can borrow some USDT, and I can borrow, you know, some RAP BTC if I really wanted to. Um, and you can obviously borrow a percentage of um, my deposit. So you can't borrow it. If I, if I had deposited around 600 and something dollars worth, I can only borrow uh, 471 worth of the equivalent cryptocurrency. That That's because there needs to be a buffer between what I've deposited and what I'm able to borrow uh, so that I don't end up owing more than I actually have in the market. So, but well, this isn't an explanation of how Aave actually works. Um, this is just to show you how to do it on Polygon. As you saw, how cheap those transactions are. You know, one tenth of a cent. As I said, one of the key things to do is to get some Matic into your wallet first. So that's the bit I skipped initially because I already had some Matic in my wallet. So let me show you in my wallet where that Matic sits. So there you go. So assets. So I have 0 0.0085 Matic. So what you would do, as I said, I'll repeat it again, is you would get some Matic into your Ethereum wallet. You either buy it on Binance or any other exchange that sells Matic. And then you would transfer it over to your um metamask wallet and then you'd come here and you would do exactly what i did, what I did with the rat btc which is transfer it over to polygon but there you go guys that that is it that is essentially being able to use Aave on the matic network and now i can borrow um some sort of cryptocurrency um uh, so i can borrow some usdt for example uh, i'm not going to but um so i can borrow say 160 usdt and it would go through so i'd be paying um uh yeah so i'd be paying 12.64 percent apy which isn't cheap to be fair so i'll be borrowing that at this time uh which is uh, that's quite high um but let's have a look here what else can i borrow can i borrow some dye instead how much is it what's the apy on that three yeah there we go i'll probably borrow some dye instead uh you know three point Eight six. That's much cheaper and more more, more reasonable rate uh, to pay. Um, but the one thing to note is is that um, you get paid out for actually borrowing, which is crazy. So like, they will see if you hover over here, participating in other market rewards in WMATIC tokens. So therefore, therefore, um, if you could offset some of what you're paying versus what you're getting, so uh, you're getting a three, you're paying three point. 86% to borrow the die, but you're going to get 2.4% return in Matic tokens. Anyway, I would do a separate video all about the intricacies of Matic and the rewards and then paying you to borrow, etc. in another video. Hope that has explained to you how to use Aave on the Matic Polygon network and how you can save a lot on fees. If that was useful, if you learned anything, please like and subscribe. If you haven't learned anything and it wasn't useful, please like and subscribe anyway. It's LexMPI. Have a nice day. Peace out.